Hello and welcome to this very, very impromptu episode of the Be Free podcast. Now, as I say that, I'm just thinking maybe I should change it to the Spirit and Soul podcast. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We shall see. We shall see. Um, so yeah, I decided just to record this episode. I wasn't going to be recording any episodes until May, until after I've moved house. However, um, I was doing my bin wisdom. If you haven't seen that, it's a little feature <laughs> that started off randomly on Instagram and now happens most Mondays or nearly every Monday um, where I share wisdom on bin, uh, as I take my bin down the road. Um, and I woke up this morning, I am in the process of moving house, I am in the process of moving my business, you can see like my office just now, there are boxes everywhere if you're watching this on YouTube, apologies if that's just made a noise and you're listening to it um, via podcast without the video, um, and I am in the process of moving my horses, so my horses are no longer going to be at home, and so yeah, house, business, horses, lifestyle, completely different lifestyle change. Um, and yeah, there is a lot to process. I've just had my birthday as well. So I had a beautiful birthday meal yesterday with friends and um, started studying some new courses <laughs> as you do, right? But all these things were planned before. So it's not like I actually planned them uh, all to happen at this time, but that's just how it works, right? So I wanted to come on and just share with you some of the tools and techniques I'm using this week because um, I woke this morning feeling quite edgy, um, like I felt I've had nausea since last Wednesday. So I don't know if I've got a bit of a tummy bug or some friends were saying yesterday, you know, it's probably, <laughs> it probably is anxiety building for moving. Um, so yeah, I woke with that nausea today, a little bit of like, like... I don't even want to say anxious energy because it doesn't feel like anxiety. I think it is excitement, but excitement coupled with a little bit of overwhelm, probably a small amount of fear of the unknown. Um, because yeah, it's just such a huge, huge, huge transition and change. And I feel like it's many changes all at once. And typically that is not something I advocate at all. <laughs> if you've ever worked with me as a coaching client, you will know that or just listen to anything. You know, I think small, steady changes, one thing at a time, rather than um, a multitude of things is so much more compassionate to your nervous system and to your life. However, it's not happened that way. So I am trying to make the most out of this experience. Um, I am trying to honor the endings. So I am very, very guided from my experience the past two years to work very ceremonially, ceremonially um, with my life and in a very sacred way. And as much as I can't wait to be in my new house, um, there has so much happened in my current home that I really want to honour those endings. And I did that last week. So this is something that you could do um, if you're navigating transition and change was just to honour the things that I wanted to celebrate or still do so one of those things um there's a hawthorn tree down a track beside my house that um during this two-year period when i haven't haven't been well it was like such a major achievement to walk to that hawthorn tree and that used to be my goal so i want to go and just sit with that hawthorn tree um in gratitude for its support i want to go and drink some cacao in my meditation circle and give gratitude to all the trees that we've planted um, to give thanks to the sanctuary, to, you know, like I just walked out to my office just now and saw the horses in the field, you know, just to give so much gratitude to all these incredible things um, that we have experienced here and just to close space on our house very ceremoniously. And I think I will write a letter to my house as well. And, um, yeah, all these final, final things that are happening, just really honouring those rather than thinking, oh my God, I've got to get this done because I move house in three weeks today and da, 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 da. Um, so I want to honour all those things and, and close things off really beautifully, not leave anything unfinished. So it's kind of tidying up the loose ends, but in a sacred ceremonial way. So that's one of the things I'm doing. But also, um, today I'm my way to go to Pilates, so it'd be so easy to think, oh God, I'm not going to go because I've got so much to do and all of that jazz. 
but actually I need to shift this energy in my body. I need to align my body. I need to um, just shift the emotions through it. So time in nature, walking this week, yoga. Um, I've asked my husband if he'll give me an aroma touch massage this week. I have reflexology booked for the week that we, the week before we move house. Um, so really building in these self-care practices and rituals. I have my beautiful friend Jenny gave me a distance healing on Friday, Saturday night, which really helped me because I was very fatigued at the end of last week. I totally overdid it um, because I felt a bit better. So I did too much. And then um, I'm still navigating the healing of my balance system. And yeah, it just flared everything up. So I'm very conscious that I want to support myself during this time of transition. So I made some notes on my phone here and I'm just going to share these tips with you of things that I'm doing that might support you. So when there's a lot of um, chaos or things that are a bit up and down in our lives, it's really important to build in structure. And this is just some ideas of things that I have done to build in the stability and structure. So I made up all my vitamins and supplements for the week at the weekend so that is all done so I can literally just go to my pillbox I know that I have all my supplements to support me at this time because my body and my system will be working extra hard sleep prioritizing sleep I went to bed so early last night um it's really bright here today I woke up pretty early as well but just making sure that I am getting the rest that I need. I went to bed on Saturday afternoon and had a little nap and rest and just really tuning in and allowing myself that. Um, My morning practice, oh my gosh. If you haven't heard me speak about my Soul Sanctuary membership, like, oh, honestly, it has been changing, like the people that are joining us in the mornings, changing their lives. So, um. It isn't just about morning practice. There is a whole host of other things as well. But the morning practice is something that I'm really sticking to. It's not my week to host it this week. My beautiful friend, Susan Finlay, who we are in collaboration with this membership. Um, it's her week to host the morning session. So from half six till 6.50, we meet together. We do a gratitude practice, intention setting and meditation. Now, it, again, it would be easy for me to say, oh God, I can't be bothered going. I've got this, this and this to do. But actually, I know that the structure, the stability of me really aligning before I go into my day is going to be vitally important during this time. So my morning practice, laying out clothes the night before, you know, you might feel like <laughs> it's a bit childlike, you know, laying out your clothes the night before for going to school. Um, But actually just reducing the decision making will help reduce any, you know, aspects of fatigue. Eating well. So I've made a shopping list of just like things like soups and, and, and like healthy things that are going to nourish me and support me. I just had like some porridge and fruit this morning, but just Stuff that's going to be really supportive of my nervous system, my body at this time as it works harder um, and just to ensure that I'm not reaching for the crap food because the crap food's going to make me feel crap. Hydrating. So I have I've just a way to go to Pilates. I've got my water in the car, making sure again I'm hydrated. Um, and then I've got here movement, cry, shake, dance. So I mentioned these emotions with, within me and I know that at this time I need to just allow these emotions to flow. I've been laughing this morning. I've been crying this morning. I've like, been listening to music and be like, oh my gosh. And then like, woohoo. Um, and just going with all those emotions, not suppressing any of them. My beautiful friend Susan in the meditation in the soul sanctuary this morning, she asked us to honor those emotions and just tune into her body and be with them. And as I did that, I felt that anxiety and edginess just kind of dissipate because I was no longer trying to move away from it. So during this period, I am going to be moving towards the emotions, connecting with them like, OK, this is exciting. Oh, my God, I'm shit scared or, you know, whatever it is that's coming up. Just allow those things to come up, um, not fight them, honor them and then choose the next be best supportive step for me, the most kind, loving, compassionate step. Um, essential oils, obviously. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm like lathering myself. I'm going to, I'll share more on this one in the future. So this is a new one called Evolve from doTERRA. And it really is all about time of transition and change. I haven't read a whole load about it, 
but it's got things in here like um wild orange which is great for confidence and stuff like that um bergamot which is good for um anxiety sand which is good for anxiety um vetiver which is very grounding and anchoring so there's lots of like there's like uplifting oils in there but also anchoring grounding so i'm going to read up a bit more and i'll share more on that on my socials but um it is just really supporting me right now and um along with my daily practice of essential oils so my balance on my feet my clary calm over my womb space um, my lemon in my water in the morning like they're like my three non-negotiables and then I work with my scanner weekly to see what oils my body is currently vibrating or requiring and I, I do that every single week um, but as I say okay essential oils <laughs> crystals I have my tiger's eye in my pocket I'm just showing that to the screen if you're watching this on YouTube this beautiful dreamy dreamy stone I don't actually know what this is if anybody sees this on YouTube, you can maybe tell me. Um, and I have clear quartz and a mango calcite beside me as well. Just beautiful, calming. Um, kind of try to rattle through these here. Nature. That's, you know, I took the bin down this morning <laughs> just to get outside and making sure that I get into nature every single day. And to add to that, actually, using nature as a way to cleanse and align um, my managing my own energy is probably going to be enough at this time without supporting and managing everybody else's so ensuring that I am cleansing clearing protecting my energy every single day my breath been doing lots of breathing and <laughs> deep breathing this morning just releasing letting go um think of ways I can get help so what ways can I reach out for support um asking for help and support at this time and then I've got here what can I let slide for the next few weeks with work and life so I made the decision that I'm not taking on any new clients at this time I'm not going to be accepting any more uh bookings for healing sessions anything like that coaching um I'm having still having calls for coaching but we won't be starting any coaching programs until um late April May um and just allowing myself that spaciousness to be with this transition and change so that I can support myself and then I can come back and best support my clients. Um, final one I've got here is about reducing stress as my HRT won't work as effectively and my balance is affected. So for me, I have really noticed that I've been told that by my friend who is a menopause coach that if I'm anyone, that is not just me, if you are experiencing a high level of stress, your HRT isn't going to work as effectively um, because obviously you have all these other hormones, cortisol, stress hormones, survival hormones flooding your system. Um, so just looking at ways to reduce stress and most of the things I've mentioned above do that, yoga, meditation, mindfulness, stretching, moving, essential oils, eating well, sleeping well, um, and yeah so that is everything that I am going to be attempting to do this week um as I navigate this time of change and transition and just to be able to enjoy the process and life as well so I really hope that supports you if you've got any questions on anything I've discussed do reach out um nice to be back and do this little impromptu one if you've enjoyed this let me know comment share like all that good stuff um i will pop a link to the soul sanctuary below if you want to come check it out honestly game changing morning practice it's 25 pounds monthly we are there monday to friday every morning plus we have evening sessions plus you have a portal of additional support and our private facebook group is such a beautiful space um I will share a link to my doTERRA website so you can check that out. My Neil's Yard website for oils. And yeah, anything else, drop me a message. I cannot wait to share this ride with you through life. And I am sending you all so much love. Mm.